Hey guys, Sean Lentz here from Appalachian DIY and today we're going to be fixing up this old shed. The reason I'm making this video is maybe you guys want a shed for your property, but you don't want to spend that big ticket price to buy a brand new one. A lot of these sheds could be had for absolutely free. A lot of them are in people's yards that are run down, kind of busted up, and they just want to get rid of them. So look for those deals on Craigslist or Facebook, and you can find a lot of them there. This one was at a buddy's property. I helped him move around two sheds. This was one of them. We helped fix up the other one, and he gave me this one for free. All we're going to do is throw about $100 at this one, and it's going to be a really nice shed for a fraction of the price. So as you can see there, the floor is pretty much totally shot, so we're going to have to replace that. And there is some trim stuff that we're going to be repairing, especially around the corners and a little bit of touch-up paint. You can also see up here on the roof, uh, in, when we took it on the trailer from my buddy's place, some of the shingles blew off. There's a lot of moss and crap on top, so we're probably going to end up replacing that as well. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to separate the floor from this bottom plate on the shed. The bottom plate is in good shape, so we're going to save that separate it and just replace the floor joist and the floor decking. The first thing that we need to do to separate the floor from the shed and that bottom sill plate is they run nails through the bottom of the sheathing on the outside into the sill plate, so we're going to need to rip those out. Okay, so what we did is we laid our foundation for our floor. We went with two by sixes, and these are on 16 inch centers because we have a little bit thinner floor than a normal uh, three quarter inch. Uh, it is six feet wide by 94 and three quarters. It's not a true eight foot, but that's what's gonna slide under and fit our shed. So the next thing we're gonna do is sheet on top for our flooring. One way that you can make sure your wall is totally square is measure from corner to corner and make sure that they are the exact same measurements and if it's out of alignment, just bump one corner or the other to shift it into place.
Now that our floor is done, all we need to do is slide it underneath our shed and nail it down to the bottom plate. Now that we have the shed back on the floor, we're gonna do some trim stuff on the outside. We're gonna start here at our corners with these corner pieces. We're gonna cut up about a foot, maybe a foot and a half, get to good wood, because some of this bottom stuff is rotten out. We're gonna cut that off, and then we're gonna to get to our sheathing. Okay, so we got our corners off. You can see that there was a lot of rot on the bottom of these. I cut about two feet up and we can just put new strips on here, but we need to address the sheathing problem on here. And this is a really common problem with these sheds is that water just drips off the edge and bounces up and rots this bottom part out. So what we're gonna do is cut about four inches of this sheathing off resheathe it and then we can go ahead and then do our trim pieces on that. All right, so we just ran this particle board around the bottom. I didn't have any actual like plywood, but it's gonna get covered anyway later on, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, we're gonna have to nail down the sheathing again because that bottom strip that we cut off had the nails holding the sheathing on, so we'll have to go around and nail that into the studs on the inside. All I did was just ran this in with uh, my nailer gun. You can staple it in if you want, because again, we're gonna come back over and cover this up, this little seam here. The next step that we're gonna do is we're actually gonna paint this before we put anything over top of it. Pay special attention to take your paintbrush and go on the underside of this. That's where the water splashes up and it's gonna be the first place to rot away. So that's gonna give it a little bit more protection. Well, we ended up painting the entire shed because it's gonna be a lot easier when we go to put on our trim pieces and trying to paint around them. So right now we're gonna put these on. So for the bottom trim pieces, I bought a 1x8 utility board. It's the really rough ones. I just found the best side. If you want to, you can sand them pre-painted, and that's what we're going to use for this bottom strip. So what we're doing here on the side is we have some 1x3 furring strips painted them white and we're going to put them these on the side. Now this is strictly for aesthetic reasons only, just to kind of make it look a little bit nicer. If you wanted it just all red, you can absolutely do that. 
We're gonna be placing these over the grooves on the T111 and kind of hiding that. So if you guys did replace this board in the back here with plain plywood, this would um, kind of cover that up so you wouldn't have to put either route grooves in or buy the T111, um, which could be a little bit more expensive. It all depends where you're buying it from or if you have it on hand. So that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna take these and nail them into place onto the wall. All right, guys, we pulled the shed from our driveway up into location up on top of the hill. If you wanna see how we did that, make sure you check out the description below. And right now, we're gonna end this episode right here because we need to do some other stuff with it, but later on in the season. We're gonna do the asphalt shingles probably in summer, and we're gonna try and get to the door this year yet, but we don't. I don't know if I'll be able to get to it. But right now everything is finished on the outside and it's looking really nice so I'm pretty happy with it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Head over to Appalachian DIY for more videos. Thanks again guys and I hope to see you next time.